to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. Well, good evening and welcome to the regularly scheduled August meeting of the Patchogue Village Planning Board. My name is Kevin Weeks. I'll be acting as chair this evening as our chairperson, uh, Mr. John Rocco, was unfortunately called away on a last minute family emergency. A little bit of housekeeping before we begin our agenda for the evening. There is an alarm system in this building in the event of a fire. It consists of a loud ringing of bells. Uh, we should not assume, should it go off, that it's a prank or a false alarm. If it does go off, retreat to the nearest exit and go out to the nearest exit onto the uh, parking lot outside the building. Do not attempt to go to your cars and drive away. Do not walk onto the parking area. We want to leave it open for access to emergency uh, personnel. Stand off the side. We'll wait until the building has been certified as being safe to re-enter. At that point, we'll come back inside and we will uh, resume our, our, our hearing. Um, there is no smoking allowed either in Village Hall or on the premises. And um, for those of us, and I think basically all of us have uh, um, cell phones, please uh, silence them or turn them off so as not to disturb the uh, course of events this evening. <laughs> we have a uh, fairly modest agenda this evening, a couple of residential applications and one uh, business. We'll go in the order in which it has been presented to us. The first application is that of Alexander W. Schmidt, 96 Monroe Avenue, seeks permission to construct a new front and rear addition to an existing single family dwelling. The subject premises are located in the A residential zone. Good evening. Sir, please step, step forward and uh, anyone who's going to speak tonight on behalf of the applicant, um, uh, give your name uh, and address for the record. And yes, thank you for submitting the columns. Thank you. Yeah, my name is Alex Schmidt, and uh, I own the property. Okay. So, why don't you, uh, you know, briefly give us a, an overview of, of what it is you guys want to do? Uh, we're doing a one story renovation. We're going to add two new bedrooms into the back of the house, and we're going to bump up the front of the house a little bit, add a new front porch um, off the front of the house. Right now, that front is recessed in, and I think you're going to bump it out now. I believe that's the idea. Yep, just a little bit. That's so how many bedrooms are there currently in this dwelling? There's two bedrooms right now. We're going to go uh, to four. Actually, another thing we're doing is we're going to redo the septic system as well. Okay, you're going to uh, have a new new septic system or expand it or new? New, um, new IA system. Okay, you're making the application we have already to the Department of Health of the county. So, All right. And is, is that pending at this point? It's already been approved. Been approved. It's great. Thank you guys. No new foundation, it, it's, a, it's a crawl space. There's no new basement being done for this, I don't think. Correct, there'll be a crawl space under the new bedrooms, uh, but no new basement. And baths, you're currently have how many? We have two full baths, and we're gonna still have two full baths. No change there. I noticed something on these plans that we're using. Yeah, the um, the elevation. The there's, two, yes. there's two so-called front elevations. Yes. Um, I can't be like to fix that before sending it, but I guess not. Um, the mislabeled the side of the garage as a front elevation. It's side elevation. Okay. Because currently, I believe the garage is on the north side. The north side. Yes. So this is correct. The way it is aligned in, uh, on this plan. The elevations are wrong, but the front and the rear on the top of the page are correct, I assume. Um, what page are you on? Well, uh, A2. 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 So, like, top left is front elevation, okay. and the top right is rear elevation. That's correct. And then the bottom yeah. is the side. Side elevation. Side elevation. Yeah. So, your garage is, an in, is side entry. Garage. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. You could see it on the uh, area. Yeah. Yes. He also has a south side elevation. That's on A3. That's on A3. Um, 
the, the footprint does not involve a change in any of the setbacks that involves any zoning. Uh, we already went for a variance. But you did. And, yeah. and you have that as well. Yeah. Well, you guys have your perennial cups in a row. What is your signing going to be on the front of the vinyl? Yeah. On the whole thing. Okay, we have is, yeah. Go ahead and have you do it. Well, typically, and I've been on this board for 22 years, we would ask on the front elevation. I was down the street today, and on Rose, it's certainly a nice name, but we asked that you do uh um senior impression senior impression on the front on the on the street facing side of the uh okay. To match in color and exposure, obviously, it's got a it's a nice curb curb appeal look. It's the value of the home, uh, and I know mm -hmm. you really appreciate it as well. Um, we meant to do that. We were thinking we were trying to do um seven inch final siding, so it's kind of like a nice big reveal. Okay, um, that's what we were going to do around the whole house, and for the peaks, we were going to do like vertical siding. Um, what is the exposure right now? Um, on the front, it is the like a vinyl cedar sliding. And it's like, was it five inch exposure or something like that? Or? Um, for the size for the vinyl, um, I, it's five, I believe. And you, yeah. So you're trying to get go it's for a, a larger exposure. Yeah. Just as a matter of taste, I guess? Or? Yeah. yeah, just like, I feel like it just looks really certainly good. Certainly the Um This shows, what color are you doing? Just out of curiosity. Like a dark blue. Oh, nice. You said you mentioned you're talking about vertical, yeah. So on the peaks, so there's nothing to know that. Yeah, so on the peaks, so there's, you know, uh, um, there's two peaks. Um, we want to do like the same color siding, right? Um, just vertical, like vertical back and board design for the peaks. Basically, we're talking about by uh, the front elevation, on the yeah. The front yeah. elevation, those are the only peaks, yeah. yeah. All right, so, so very little, but just uh. Yeah, so so vertical, um, but the same color. Yep, that's what we're doing. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. It's always nice to sort of, um, you know, mix up the, the aesthetic look. But we would like to see cedar impressions on the front. Yeah, I don't think we can bet on that. Um, and I'd definitely be a nice front elevation, certainly. And then, you know, on the sides, obviously, just the traditional yeah. clapboard vinyl. That's yeah. kind of problem. It's only it's only the, the curb, the front facing elevation that we're concerned about. And the overhead garage door, I assume that's not a solid uh wall. There'll be windows in that. Um for the garage door? Yeah. No, that's existing though, right? Well, it that's not existing. changing. Um we might change it, but that's that's existing and it doesn't have windows. I mean well, the garage well, does have windows, but the door does not. If it's not being changed, then obviously we're not going to ask you to, to change it. Right. But and if you're the, getting if you're getting a brand new overhead garage door, we would like to see some some kind of deadlights in it, just something. Okay. That also has been consistently applied for the last twenty something years on this board. Even though it's on the side of the house, I mean you can't. No, that's house. a good point. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, it, if it's on the side, of, if you don't want it, it's on the side of the house. Then it's fine. The garage has the windows facing the street. Right, the garage itself has yeah. one minute, but not. Yeah. All right, that, that, that's fine. Yeah. If it's not facing the street, then that's that's uh, that's okay. Any other questions? Comments from anyone? How soon do you want to start? Um, October, November, I and mean, we got to get the contractor still picked out, um, get an estimates on that. We have two or three estimates so far. So. Are you currently living in the home? Yeah. But you're ahead of the game having the approval for septic already and all the setbacks. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Anyone else? Yeah, it's a nice plan. Yeah. Very nice. It's, it's nice a house. beautiful neighborhood. It's a nice house. Nice house. So, so for the front with the siding, like that's something we have to do is use uh, like the cedar shake style. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, right. yes, please. And of course, this plan does not show um vertical siding on those peaks or yes. to, uh, yeah, that's not on the plan. I mean, we can mark that, I suppose, can't we? Yeah, sure, we think so. And have a rejoined that. It's just, it's just these two peaks. That's it. On the front elevation. Yep. So the rest, you'd want cedar, those two peaks, we could do vertical, just like the vertical. Yeah, absolutely. Design. Okay, nice. Okay. All right. You take a seat if you want. All right. Anyone in the audience like to speak either for or against this application? 
I just have one question as the other owner. You, I'm sorry, okay. your name is? Flora. And you live at the same address? Yes. Okay. Um, what percentage of shakes? The full front? Sure. Just the front, not any other side, just the front. Right, but everything that would have the six inch reveal, or seven inch reveal would be cedar precious. Got it. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Or something comparable doesn't have to be that brand. Yeah, no, yeah, it doesn't have to be that brand, obviously. All right, so no one uh, wishes to speak for or against the application. That being the case, I'll entertain a motion. Weeks, I'll make a motion to approve the application as presented with the stipulation at the front of the house have the cedar impression type of um, siding and salt. And that was it right there. And, and the change is noted of the peaks having, having, the, having the, the vertical, the vertical treatment of the peaks and not requiring replacement of windows in the garage door. That's the garage door. Motion made by Ms. Logan. Do I have a second? Yeah. Second by Ms. Beckman, I believe. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Next on our agenda, we have a business application. And that is for Big Cat Group LLC, 78 Academy Street. Seeks permission to maintain an existing bike shop and recording studio on the first floor. Subject premises are located in the D2 business zone. Good evening. Hello. Please state your name and address for the record. Tell us all about the application. Andrew Malvernera, 713 Main Street, Port Jefferson. That's the agent. You're the agent for the applicant. Okay. So we're looking to maintain an uh, existing commercial building. Uh, as the forefront shows, it's storage, bike sales, uh, recording studio, uh, break room, and the like. Uh, it's been existing for a little bit. I'm not sure if there's any questions. How long has it been existing? I, I know I've seen it. I go to church right around the corner. Yeah, past the whole time. Yeah, and the building's been there for, for no, a while. No, building's old. Yeah, for a while. Um, Odd shape. So, yeah, yeah, they've been there for a couple of years now. Couple years now. Years now? And has there been any recently any changes to this this layout, or is this how it's been functioning? Yeah, that's a lot. That's how it's been functioning. All right. Um, it, it should say I did not know this. I knew what you. I kind of knew what you guys did here, but so you don't know you you sell and service or they. Okay. Sell and service these electric bikes. Correct. No, there's no, no manual factory here exactly. on that. No. And one of the bays is dedicated to auto repair. But what do you mean by by small but small engine for these types of bikes or motorcycles? Or? Uh, no, just it's just electric bikes. That's, that, oh, so that's the main. The electric bike is what they do. Correct. Okay. Mostly sales. Mostly sales. There's a couple of showrooms here. It looks like. Right. Um, sort of a half separated wall. Recording studio and, and then we have the recording studio. studio all the way to the west. Yeah. And then the second photo is a photo studio. Right. Well, there's a photo studio. And there's a break room and the office. And there's a basement, which is for storage only, I assume. Correct. So it's two is it two businesses operating out of the same space, or is it the one business owner where we just have well, the, the, you know, the building, the 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 big cat, but uh there are the recording studio is not. And photo studio and photo studio not either. Okay, so, so it's yeah, for business. Okay. And all these businesses have been in operation for a while. Yeah. And no one is a late comer at this point. No. Okay. Is the recording studio open to the public? I don't believe it is. Uh, I didn't have access to I'm it. I'm sure I knew that was there. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I mean, it could, be, it could be power wash, maybe. You know, I mean, that way. Like, uh, I mean, there, there are people who live across the street. There are a number of houses across the street. Yes. Correct. And and I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, I don't even well, know about these businesses. I don't think they're causing a problem in the neighborhood. Right. I don't know. Right. Carol would know yeah, if there are well, complaints, yeah, but um, I, I, you know, I mean, yeah, I, I know there was a recording we, studio in there. We so. haven't had any complaints about the businesses themselves. But the building was an issue with the bikes being displayed yeah. outside. Some sorry. of them on the street. So that that's an issue. We have to the, the, the sidewalk be kept clear. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but the so, but the building itself. I mean, you just heard that we required of the previous applicants, Cedar Impressions, and homeowners are scraping together pennies to do their home renovations. Mm -hmm. This fellow has five tenants, five long term tenants. It sounds like the building needs to be painted. Can we do? I mean, let's, I mean, I understand completely what you're saying. Can we, um, I, I, it was my option. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know, but like, can we do it? It's sort of cleaning up in terms of. You need to power wash the entire thing. And power washing, you're just going to be washing the yeah, paint off. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be worse. I just don't want to give it to you. Not, I'm, I'm not going to dictate you guys. Yeah. I'll give you just a back, back, back story. This doesn't come to us very often. For us to clean it up, is we're trying one A young woman does. Yeah. A young woman came to us and wanted to build a new residential home on uh, Tabor Street, and her, her side yard was the back of um, uh, Country Critters, a big cinder block building that was disgustingly dirty. And just as a courtesy, mm -hmm. we asked them to paint it to be nice to her, and they did. They did. Um, Looks good. You know, yeah, so I mean, that's, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm certainly not arguing at all. I just had to, you know, it's not my building to no, I say it. I completely understand. It is, you know, I completely understand. It is what it is. So, yeah. Um, but that certainly would be um, it'd be nice to it's it's good that I remember one of my first uh, hearings on the planning board a long time ago was that it was a different iteration of this building it's it's an old building yeah um, it's always been kind of warehousey or something like that it's actually nice this is a nice mix of uses mm -hmm. and I think it'd be nice if the building were to be um, spruced up yeah um, how do the hours of operation jive in the various I think it's just normal hours I don't think it's nothing, yeah. nothing unusual the recording studio is not like it does not operate at night time, usually. I think it's all, you know, usually it's more or less nine to five, we would say. Um, there's no real site plan. I mean, I'm tripping. Where's the place? Where's the parking place? Yeah, on the street. Basically, yeah. on the street. Yeah. Isn't there a little teeny? Like, there is a little around. tiny little spot. Yeah, in the back. Yeah. Very small. Yeah. Um, also, the spray painted no parking sign on the overhead door needs to go. Yeah. <laughs> and, and really, the sidewalks need a lot of love. You tell it. So you guys. Yeah. 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 I'll, 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 I'll relay the info. We'll put it in the decision. Absolutely. Yeah. Understood. We get one shot at this. I get it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Every 22 Every years. years. <laughs> 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 the sidewalks might want to do it for the Yeah. I just want to address all these well, that is part of this application, I believe, isn't it? It's actually, it's not published, but I see there's. Yeah. So. Well, we might as well do that while we're on this. Um, we got to get an for us. Yeah. To piggyback on what um, Mr. Logan said, uh, I understand trying to maybe display to the public the bikes, and they've become extremely popular uh, in recent years, and uh, not, you know that's neither here nor there, but. Uh, sidewalks need to be kept clean. They're they're obviously public thoroughfares, and they need to be kept clear at all times. If there's some way to display the bikes outdoors during the daytime, as long as they get put back inside, I mean, the door is open up completely and put the bikes at the entry door. So but I'm not just talking about the, the, the bikes on the sidewalk. I'm talking about the condition of the sidewalk that, that has to be addressed. The, the condition of the sidewalk? Yes, it's pitted. It's cracked. It's is that is that it, I, I, that's his. That's his. That's his responsibility to maintain the sidewalk. It is. Yeah, no, that is statewide, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the whole place. The place needs a lot of love. Yeah, that's right. I'm sure you've been there. Yes, I've seen. I've seen. Yeah, that's a no. Well, it's certainly good to see that it's a going concern. I think Big Cat's been there a couple years now. Well, I can tell. Karen, you want to talk about some of the signage issues? I was hoping someone was going to come here in the workshop to go over all these signs. I think that's what was meant to happen mm -hmm. tonight. But uh, since you're here, we only allow one sign per elevation. I'm a little confused on some of the renderings here. It's like hard to see what is on the sign. We don't allow phone numbers on signs that are on the building. Okay. So if you just take the front elevation, 
It looks like they have two signs, one here and one here. So okay. you, this one would be all right, the one on the top. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. doesn't have a phone number, but if this yeah. is what it represents, yeah. mm -hmm. so that one can stay. Mm -hmm. The one on the bottom here should be removed. There's also something here. I can't tell what it is. Um, Linda might have better yeah. pictures. She took some pictures. This one here, I can't tell what's written on there. Please, please. Same one. Yeah, same. But you, those signs look like they're all temporary. Also, the ones on the side. Yeah, like this one is clearly a permanent sign. Right. This looks like a temporary. Right. right. And then there's one over the garage area also that's a more temporary sign on the same elevation as the next sign. And then in the east elevation, there's another temporary sign up on the second floor. And do you know where this sign? Can you tell where this sign is that they're presenting here? Uh, with the phone number, I don't know where that is. You know what? Can I just make a suggestion? Yeah. I think that Mr. Gebby needs to come to the next work session to go over clear. cleaning up the building, okay. going over the signs and everything because it's so very confusing. The pictures aren't clear. There are bad he really signs needs to do there, that, including a freestanding yeah. sign on the corner, a feather sign, which we don't allow. Right. So. right. I also I think, think we need to see a sign. Yeah. So we'll just well. table this for that. I think yeah. that's probably the best way because yeah. none of it's clear. Do you agree with the fact that the parking has to be? Out as well, it should, it ought to be really. There should be a site clinch on the park as well. All right, I mean, there isn't really much parking. Uh, again, we, we don't we don't really skip park plan for the property. Just, There's a survey somewhere, of the survey, but that's really not. I mean, the building is existing. I yeah. think what he has there is really very benign, so it's probably okay. But we should have something show, indicating the building. There there's on, there's a, on the street parking along. Academy, is it? I'm not sure. I know in the back, way back when, when somebody else owned the building, there was like two or three spaces in the rear. Yeah, it's and such a it's, it's such a strange. It's like so narrow, narrow, but I right. think there yeah. was a little something back here. I'm not over here. I'm not sure. Any idea yeah. what cumulatively, what kind of staffing is involved here? I mean, there's got to be some people looking for the big cat, and you know. Yeah, I mean, I've I mean, I've been there two or three times, and there's probably been like four or five people there. Working for Big Cat or or for all of these, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know anybody else. I mean, okay. Again, I don't know if the recording studio is by appointment only. Maybe yeah. they don't have consistent hours there. It's possible that the photo studio is the same way. Right. Um, There's nothing on the building that indicates a photography studio or recording. Yeah, it's all like private. Like all, it might as well be an office. So it's not really. Uh, so it's not. That's not advertised at least to the external name of the building. Right. Um, and like some of the, just looking at some of the plans submitted, some of the offices i'm not 100 percent clear on if there a restroom in every office so wait, i wasn't really clear on like what businesses belong to what yeah, like well the recording studio has one if there's oh, one uh in the sales and service for a big cat all the way to the west yep and cool. there it is one upstairs in the big cat break room but then the other thing for the photo the studio photos. yeah there's a sign. They're shared one. restrooms somehow. Well, that looks like an enclosed building. They don't. Um... Yeah, there's no, there's no breakthrough there. And there's a sign on one door that says Lauren Silva Group Inc. I don't know what that is. Oh. Oh. Well, well, I, well, I, think, I think we just need more. Yeah. Yeah. Unit, unit, well, like storage, 84 Academy, is that storage for Big Cat? Yeah. But, so it's not rented out separately as a storage right. space for anyone. Well, we do like to keep a clean agenda here on our board, but there are some unanswered questions here and, it, and to be consistent, uh, if it is a business, we would ask this of any business that came before us uh, to sort of have a handle on everything that's going on. Uh, we have the issues with the uh, external appearance of the building as well. Um, yeah, I think it'd be better if things here. I'd like to just, you know. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no okay, you're doing a fine job. You're answering yeah, well, a lot of questions. Okay. I think there's it's enough going on here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're not involved with the intimate details. Of it's not. No, 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 you, you can you can take a seat if you want. Thank you. Is there anybody in the audience that would like to speak either for or against this application at this time? Seeing no one, I would uh, entertain a, a motion to adjourn the application. 
telling me more information, and uh, hopefully, Mr. Gemi is to the stage. No, you may buy Mr. Logan. Do I have a second? Second. You can buy Ms. Orson. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So, carriage, this will be adjourned, and we'll continue to work this off until September, September 27th. Yeah. That's the next public hearing. Thank you, though. Appreciate Thank your, you. your time you. and your help. And I have a question about the garage next to it. I don't know who that one is. Yeah. Yeah. And the gentleman has to be I've got to tell you this. Sorry, I hope I can't work. Moving on, we have our third and final application for the evening, and that is that of Janine and Daniel Henn, 63 Hill Street. Seek permission to construct a two story single family dwelling with an attached garage. Subject premises are located in the A residential zone. Good evening, Mr. Brock. How are you? And we're feisty time, Mr. Brock. Sorry, you drew I'm ready. Okay. Actually, it's funny because I thought this had been approved based on our last work session discussion. Of it. Yes, but the record oh, reflects okay. we had a very thorough. Um, yeah. Look at this plan at, at a yeah. recent work session. So now it's before us. I'm disappointed because usually I get to say good Yes, I, I, I thought I was going to be over. Yes. Well, next time. Yeah. So, uh, yes, please formally leave your name and uh, sure. address for the record, and we'll go over the plan. John R. Bracco, Architect, 111 Railroad Avenue, Save on New York. Um, so, why don't you give us a little bit of an overview of what the ends want to do here? Yes. Uh, good evening, members of the board. John Rocco, architect, on behalf of the applicants, Daniel and Jeanine Henn, who have been uh, Patrol residents at 63 Hill Street since 2018. We're here before you this evening in regards to a proposed new two story home to replace an existing two story home. The subject parcel is located on the northwest corner of Summit Avenue and Hill Street. An application was made to the Village Zoning Board of Appeals for required variances, and the Zoning Board of Appeals did grant the application for the required variances. The proposed house will be a two and a half story Dutch colonial style home with a front covered porch, two car attached garage, and full basement. The roofing will be a 50 year architectural roof shingle. The siding will be a combination of party plank, uh, party plank clapboard, cedar perfection shingle, and cedar board and batten siding. Uh, bottom line is that there'll be no vinyl uh, whatsoever. Uh, all trim will be white ASAC and the chimney will be a red face brick. The windows will all be Anderson 400 series. Uh, so again, bottom line, there are no cheap looking materials being used. And as a result, the home will definitely have a high end look and will be a vast improvement aesthetically to the current house. Uh, we have also applied to the Suffolk County uh, Health Department and we'll be obtaining a permit from them for a new innovative alternative septic system. Uh, in summation, uh, we feel the proposed house will only enhance the nature and character of the neighborhood and we'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. We've obviously done this a time or two. It's a nice looking home, there's no yeah, question. Uh, yeah. You know, the cast dispersions don't need to exist, but it certainly does look like an upgrade from. What is there? Um, well, yeah, that's you know, if you or quote, just recall, you know, the existing is yeah, we it's a little it's a quarter, it's, it's a quarter probably. There are strange addition on it, but it, the roof's almost flat, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. It's not, it's, it's not the greatest addition, but um, it's not the same thing. Do they want to buy Academy Street building? <laughs> 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 so, how many, bath, how many bedrooms and how many baths in this house? Uh, three bedrooms, two and a half things. And um, application is pending before the county board of health for uh, septic system. You already have your setbacks from the ZBA because it's yep. changing the profile of the house a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a question you, but you answered already that. It's hard to tell from the drawing that. So that is a brick chimney, obviously. Yes. There's windows in the garage door. Yes. Even though that face is. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a corner lot, so it does pay. Yes. Oh, it's corner lot. Yes, it's a corner lot. It's a pretty big piece of property, actually. Yes, yeah. yeah. Decent size. Right, such corner lot. It's a very nice one. Yeah. It's a beautiful home. Thank you. Yeah. And you did say that the street facing faces were architectural shingles, right? Yeah. 
Well, the roof shingle will be architectural. Yeah, but the, um, yeah. The, the, the cedar impressions. Oh, yeah. On the front and on the side. Well, it's going to be true cedar. No, cedar, yeah. oh, not vinyl. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, they did. They act, they did want to do sort of like a combination. They're they're using like a uh uh lappered uh and the cedar shingle. Um, so I wasn't sure. I know I know typically when I've been before you guys, when it's vinyl, you call out for that. You want that front to be the cedar impression. Right. But when it's you know like so with this house, the thought would be it would be a combination of true cedar shingle and true and the hardy plant clapper. Um, so I just wanted to make sure you guys. Yeah, were no, you're right. It's so, it's so yeah. unusual that people will use actually yeah. cedar and shakes. It, period. It doesn't you, come across our desk. And you need the hardy plant on the side of the house that faces the street anyway. So mm -hmm. any side, any street facing side has to have that kind of treatment instead of the, the regular vinyl. Right. Because that's true. Yeah. 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 And actually, yeah. the um, yeah. elevation yeah. facing uh, was that summit is uh quite nice looking actually it's very nice yeah, like the front yeah, yeah. people yeah. don't always are not always as mindful of that side of the yeah. home that's really nice looking plenty of windows well demonstrated um, i have one pain in the neck comment that i know miss morocco would make if we were here there's a possibility and maybe others on the board agree i'm just an idea um Maybe not 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 across the board, but maybe a couple shutters on the front elevation. Anybody think? Um, I love it the way it is. Yeah. 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 I think that it's actually fairly appropriate. It actually, looks like the house my grandfather built. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it's it's clumsy because, because of the Campbell roof. Yeah. I think you yeah. you have to. Yeah. It's yeah. appropriate. Yeah. I think yeah. It's not, yeah. The windows. Yeah. yeah. The, the sections I think work well. Yeah. 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 Nice. And I know when when I was here at the work session, Mr. Rocco loved it, and he didn't he didn't mention anything about it. No, you have actually done everything we asked for at the work session. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So what about time frame? When uh, when do the hens would they like to get this going? They would like to start as soon as they get the permits. They kind of have everything lined up, and ready to go. They get the demolition thing going. And obviously, yeah. it's a it's a fairly big piece of property. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of neighbors nearby, though, I guess having, you know, the refuse containers as well off the street as possible. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. not to disrupt the neighborhood during the course of the uh, operation, uh, all that common sense sort of thing. Um, uh, they're living in the house right now, I guess. Right? So, they are. Yeah. There. Yeah. so I guess temporarily, though, they'll be. They can, yeah, they have somewhere they're going while, this, while the demo. And the it always takes longer than yeah. Yeah, the folks think it's done. Yes. Are you just as out of just curiosity? Um, where are the utilities? Is this gas or uh, oil? Uh, well, the utility, everything will be in the basement. In the basement, there'll be a mechanical room in the basement. Okay, I believe there is gas on the street, if I remember. There probably is. Yeah, yeah. there's another question I can get the plan. So, the only um, there, there is no exterior entrance to the unfinished basement, no, the only entrance is through the garage. Yeah. I believe that's correct. Yeah, there's a garage wall. Yes. yes. Right. Um, on the entrance to the house. Yeah, which when when we were we were at the work session, we brought that up and we did we do show on the plans there is an access from the bedroom to that wall. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. And that wall is for she some some kind of art studio. She likes she does she's some sort of artist and she does work. Yeah, she's looking for a kind of little separate space to be in. And that will be obviously heated. Yes. Um, my, my brother did this on his app, so I, I understand the concept. It, it was just like an office that he was occasionally. Yeah. Uh, but it's got, a, it's got a deck, I guess, that. Um, yeah, there's a little there's a little deck out to the rear of the property. Yeah. yeah. To the front side, a little upper deck. That's nice. Beautiful home. Nice home. Thank you. And obviously, their taste is really commended as well as your skill in designing it. It's a, it's a very nice house. Any other questions? From uh, members of the board. I don't know if we made any changes. <laughs> he made all the changes there. Yes, I think we're just, just yeah. what was uh, it is that the point that I'm presiding and uh, uh, health department still pending on the septic system. Uh, so okay. Just to tell you, that's a great thing about having the work session because a lot of towns and villages I did with don't. And then all those things come up at the first hearing. Now you're always yeah, coming back. You're frustrated. It's just, great. You, you think you're ready to move yeah. forward and you can. So thank mm -hmm. you for the, for the um, input. 
Um, I don't think there is anybody, but I'll, anybody uh, in the audience would like to speak either for or against the application at this time, seeing none. Uh, seeing nobody uh, coming forward, I'll entertain a motion from the board. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'll make a motion to approve as presented. Motion made by Ms. Rodriguez Krusty. Uh, do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Mr. Govin. Uh, any questions on the motion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? So, Carrie, great job. Good luck. We forward to seeing this house tomorrow. Yep. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Have a great night. You too. Thank you. It's a big cat. Thank you for that. Uh, is anyone aware of any other business that needs to come before this board at this time? I have a couple of things. Oh, a, uh, architectural advisory board, of course. Okay, so uh, 94 Medford Avenue is just going to be changing a freestanding sign, and we'd like to make that a motion to approve, approve as presented. 94 Medford, what is that? It's, uh, it's true inspiration counseling. Right, what was it before? I can't remember. Who said it been there? It was a vet. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Atlas? No, like Atlas. just south of Oak Street on the west side. It was not that next to Paul Wetterly. It wasn't there that. Okay, long. so this is a new, a new business. Yeah. And, yeah. and this is their new signs, and you guys like it? Um, yeah, the, the signs are already there as far as the post. They're just changing the. I actually the think she had press coverage in events or something. Uh, do you like to make that a motion? Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a motion made by Ms. Orsman. Do we have a second? Seconded by Ms. Beckerman. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. What else you got? So the other application did not come before us, but I'll just let you know we did squash a little bit of um, the social, which is on Railroad Avenue. They're kicking around some ideas, but we squashed this. Is this um, the Darling Brewery? Is that yeah, yeah, this yeah. Okay. So he <laughs> going for something retro. He wanted that, but we we just. Said no to this. Okay. They're going to go back to the drawing board. The bar, the bar, bar. sign. Yeah. Was that a sign facing the building or sort of um, perpendicular? perpendicular. <laughs> it reminds me, it reminds me of, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, it's a wonderful life. <laughs> 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 The second we held that up. The yep. second we held that up, I thought it was wonderful. I love it. <laughs> so I need to send them back to the drawing board. Send them back to the drawing board. I've never thought I'd hear Karen say, I'm switching. That's your iron didn't come before us. Um, that's, that's the, the former finance fitness. Yeah, yeah on the so corner right in. Yeah, I think they're, uh, well, this is, you know, we went through the same thing with the cheeky thief. They're so, a violation of some number of things, in as much as there's no visibility into the building whatsoever. No, yeah, all it, things it, covered it, all it, over. It's something citing HIPAA laws, but no. We looked up HIPAA laws and, and we couldn't find anything about not being able to look into HIPAA laws are quoting HIPAA laws and being able to look into the That's ridiculous. Shit. Got to be some happy media that they can come up with. I don't know. They had their they grand, grand opening on Saturday. Saturday. Were you there, Their website is up. You can if you ask John, he would say yes. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he gave it to us Saturday. <laughs> Anything else? That's it. That's it. No, That's so we have the one that we did. Yeah. Through, the rest are the other is pending. Okay. All right. Any other business that needs to be brought before the board at this time? Don't forget the Scavoa uh, Continuing Education Seminar in October for those of us that need to go. You know, I know the village probably needs to have a head count. Sure. Thank you. All right, seeing no other business for the board, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn this evening. So moved. So moved. So a second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. Thank you, everyone, for your Aye. time and expertise. Aye.